Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you a simple method of installing and upgrading Kali Linux. And as most of you are aware, Kali is one of the most popular operating systems for folks involved in cybersecurity, specifically penetration testing. So to get started, we want to open up a web browser and search for VirtualBox. And the first result says Oracle VirtualBox. We're going to select that. And at the time of recording the video, uh, VirtualBox 7 is the latest version, so we're going to select that. That might change based on when you're viewing this video. So next we need to select the specific version we want, whether we're using Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. In this video, I'm going to choose Windows since I'm running a Windows operating system. However, feel free to choose whichever operating system is relevant for you. And this may take a minute or two for the download to be completed. So once it's done, I'm going to launch the installation file. This should bring up a wizard. And we're going to hit next. And we're going to hit next here to allow it to install in the default location. As well as yes, that it would be resetting our network interfaces. And yes, to install the necessary Python dependencies and install. Right, this again should take maybe a minute or two for the installation to be completed. So once completed, we're going to hit finish and this would automatically launch VirtualBox. And if you haven't guessed it by now, we're actually going to install a virtual instance of Kali Linux. As you can see, VirtualBox, this is the interface, and we currently have no virtual machines installed, right? It's a brand new installation. So what we want to do is head over back to our web browser, and we're going to search for Kali Linux. And I'm just going to select the first link here in our search results. And it, as it tells us, you know, the most advanced penetration testing distribution, right? Uh, we're going to hit download. Next, we need to choose our platform. So the first option, install images, is if we were installing Kali as the primary operating system on the machine, meaning that it was not virtualized. And also we have options for mobile and cloud versions. Remember, it's a virtual machine we're installing for this demo. So we need to select the virtual machine option. Next, we need to select which virtual machine we're, uh, which hypervisor we're using. So we have VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V, Quemu, right? So we're using VirtualBox. So we want to select this version, right? So I'm going to hit on the download arrow and this should launch my download. And guys, this should take a couple minutes to complete, you know, just based on your internet connection speed. Okay, so the file is finished downloading. So what I want to actually do is copy this to a different location, right? Somewhere that will be easier to work out of. So I'm just going to navigate to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm just going to name it Kali, right? Something simple. Uh, basically, I'd be, you know, copy and pasting uh, the image itself inside of this folder. So it just would be, you know, easier to work out of. So I'm going to go in that folder and paste the package here. So once it's finished copying, the next thing I want to do is I want to extract the files that's in this package, right? So to do that, I'm going to right click on that package and I'm going to go down to WinRAR and I'm going to hit extract here, right? This will basically extract the files that are in this uh, compressed archive. So basically, you know, WinRAR is one of those compression extraction tools. Feel free to use whatever is available to you, but I'm using WinRAR in this example. You know, feel free to download WinRAR as well. It's a free to use tool. So, you know, if you like, you could also download and install WinRAR as well. So as we can see, this folder was extracted from the archive. So if we open up that, we'd say there are two files inside there, right? So one, the bigger file is the actual Kali image, right? And the other one, that's just basically an instructional file telling VirtualBox how to utilize the image. So next we're gonna come over back to VirtualBox and we're gonna select machine and we're gonna select add. 
and we're going to browse where we have the Kali, the extracted folder and we're going to select this file. There's only one file you could select anyways inside here. We're going to select that and hit open. And as we can see, the Kali machine was imported, right? Uh, this is the various hardware settings that we could change if we needed to. However, for this demo, I'm just going to leave everything as default. You know, but just showing you the Kali Linux machine was successfully imported in a virtual box. So I'm going to hit on start to launch the actual virtual machine itself. And here we could see the machine is initializing. All right, and there we have the infamous Kali logo of the dragon. And we're now at the logon screen. So by default, the username and password is Kali, all lowercase. And feel free to change that once you're, you know, logged into the machine. And this, guys, is the Kali Linux operating system. And if we hit on the Applications tab there, this should bring up all the famous security-related applications. We have information gathering, vulnerability, web applications, passwords, wireless, you know, sniffing, etc. <laughs> right, so a lot of applications that you could have fun with if you're into cybersecurity. Next, I'm going to show you how you could upgrade your Kali instance. So to do that, we want to launch a terminal window and we want to type sudo apt update ambersand ambersand sudo apt upgrade. So this would basically update and upgrade all the packages in your Kali instance. So it should prompt you and ask you if you want to proceed with these updates. I'm going to select Y for yes and hit enter. Also, it would tell you that some of the services may need to be restarted. That's fine. I'm going to select yes. So guys, this could take a while, right? Just depending on how many packages you need to have updated and upgraded. So I'm just gonna fast forward the video and I'll join you back soon. All right, so the upgrade uh, was successful. It took about 20 minutes to complete, right? That would vary based on your internet speed, right? So to confirm that everything has been updated successfully, we could simply just repeat that same command that we just issued and it should tell us that there is nothing. See, there says zero updates available, right? So we're good to go. We're more or less fully updated. And guys, that brings us to the end of this video. So this was just a quick tutorial showing you how you can install and update Kali Linux. Remember, if you like this kind of content, anything cybersecurity related, why not consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit on the notification bell so you'll be notified once a new video is released. As always, thanks again for viewing. See you soon.